you so much for joining me for Real Change. We've often said on this program that real change begins with you. And as you work the process of change, it requires thinking change so that will create belief change so that as our beliefs change, our beliefs now based on correct principles and values then inform our thoughts that determines our speech and then the outcome is in what we do. And so as we look towards changing ourselves, then let's therefore think differently so that we will have different attitudes that will produce a different behavior. Last week, we talked about the difficult economic times in which we live and what we need to do in order to cope. And part of that begins with a thinking that moves us from an individualistic mentality to a mindset that recognizes the need for others and for sharing, to be more cooperative. And in this hour, we need that if you're really going to make it. There is an old Jamaica proverb that says, one finger can pick lice, or put another way, one hand can clap. And so if you simply try to make it alone in these tough times, it's going to be 10 times as difficult. But if we look at what, how we can pool our resources together, how we can partner with someone else, then together we can make it. And we must move in that direction if you are going to cross over and become successful and overcome the difficulties of our time. For instance, here is how that works and how you can work together. You perhaps have time. Someone else has money. Someone else have the, the, an idea or the skill. Because what makes successful, prosperous business is good skill with good management, with, with time that needs to be put in, and certainly resources. And no one of us sometimes have all of those things. But if you have the idea, someone else have the time, someone else have the money, and you have the skills, then when we pull it together, big things can go on. So look around you. Many of you young men, you're sitting on the corner. Nothing can go on for you. I sit up on the corner. But begin to look inside yourself. What can you do? What are your strengths? What is the strength of the other person? And let's come together and see how we can offer a service. Look for something to do. Because what will create wealth for you is offering a service. Because if you offer someone a service, then you are adding value to them and making yourself valuable. So look for what you can do. Look for needs. What are some needs in your community? How can you meet the needs of community? When you meet someone's need, you are valuable to them and they will very often pay for it. That's how you've got to be think creatively in this tough time in our nation. And as we all work together, thinking of each other, supporting each other, then a real change will come. And I said last week, I remind you again, let's get back to the land. It's going to be a main source of our in income and sustainability farming. Let's go out there, work the land, work the land. You sow the seed, God blesses with water. He gives the increase. Big things can go on for you. Just, just Don't just sit at home, sit on the corner, do something, and do, beg your pardon, and do nothing. Rather get up and do something. Something meaningful, purposeful, sow seeds, and returns will come. Join me again next week, same time. Jamaica.